Right now at 530, making a T a safer ride. State lawmakers question the Secretary of Transportation and the new general manager of Boston's troubled transit system. That meeting on Beacon Hill wrapped up just a short time ago. Thanks for being with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Paula Eben. Today's meeting comes as the Federal Transit Administration reviews the T safety efforts with the looming threat of a takeover. As WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us, transportation leaders insist they're making progress. There is a sense of urgency to improve the safety and reliability of our transit system. Transportation Secretary Gina Fiandaka testifying in front of a joint committee of state lawmakers Monday, and she brought the MBTA general manager with her. The system is safe to use, but we can and we will strive to do better. Philip Ng has been on the job since April and was thrown into the deep end with the T's growing safety issues. Parts of station ceilings falling, derailments, workers injured, the Federal Transit Administration administration breathing down their neck. To date, the MBTA has sent nearly 600 action items to the FTA, identifying things that need fixing and how they would do it. That work has resulted in those pesky slow zones. On Monday, Ang saying they're making progress lifting them, providing the percentages of lines affected. But what I want is to make sure that when we go in, it's not just a Band-Aid, that it's something that we know will address the issue at hand, but also address the root cause of the issue. State lawmakers questioning the agency on spending. The T says they've spent less than a third of the $380 million the state gave them. That money meant for safety improvements. It's as important as it is to spend it all quickly. It's important that I make sure that I spend it in the right places. And in response to the red line station issues, things falling from the ceilings and landing on people, Ng is set to hire the first ever chief of stations to oversee inspections and maintenance, something he suggested the T was having difficulty tracking. So the FTA was invited to the hearing for the third time they declined. The Federal Transit Administration saying they do not publicly testify on agencies they are currently reviewing. Brandon True at WBZ News.